Welcome to WebStyle Plus. How to use CDN in WordPress website? How to add CDN link in WordPress? For those who don't know, what does CDN mean? CDN stands for Content Delivery Network. It's a system of distributed servers that deliver pages and other web content to a user based on the geographic location of the user, the origin of the web page, and the content delivery server. The goal of a CDN is to serve content to end users with high availability and high performance. CDNs are often used for large scale websites and are particularly useful for delivering static content and media streams. The basic idea is that by spreading the content across many different servers located in different places, the content can be delivered more efficiently to users. This can help to speed up the load time of websites, improve user experience and reduce bandwidth costs. For example, if you have a website that is hosted in the United States without a CDN, a user in Australia would need to load the content from across the globe. However, if you use a CDN and the CDN has a server in Australia, then the content can be served from that local server, which can be much faster. In web development, CDN links are often used to serve libraries like jQuery, Bootstrap, Fontosome and more. By using a CDN, you not only get the benefit of the content being delivered quickly, but also the possibility of the file being cached if the user has visited a site that uses the same CDN, making the loading time even faster. So how to add CDN links in WordPress? Adding CDN links in WordPress is simple. You just need CDN links for a required library. So how to add font awesome in WordPress using CDN links? To do that, go to CDNJS website, search for font awesome, select font awesome, copy CSS link tag all.min.css, copy link tag, go back to WordPress, under appearance, click at theme file editor. This will open current active theme files in file editor. Open header and footer files of active theme. Footer file, header file, footer.php and header.php. Paste the CSS link tag that we just copied in head section in header.php file. Head section starts from here and here, here we can paste that link tag for font awesome. Click update file. Place link tags for CSS files in head section in header.php file and scripts files can go in footer.php file at the bottom before closing body tag. And Font Awesome has been linked to our WordPress website via CDN. If you want to add Bootstrap in WordPress theme, again go to cdnjs.com, search for Bootstrap, select Twitter Bootstrap, copy script tag bootstrap.min.js, go to theme editor, Added footer.php file at the end before closing body tag. Paste the script tag containing bootstrap JavaScript file link. Update file. Go back again. Copy link tag for CSS file bootstrap.min.css. Go to theme editor in header.php. Paste the link tag in head section. Update file. Go to website. Now if you view the source for this page, you see these CDN links for Font Awesome and Twitter Bootstrap. And at the end, script tag containing CDN link for Bootstrap JavaScript file. If you don't want to add CDN links in theme files, you can do it via plugins as well. 
go to plugins add new search for header footer there are many plugins that allow code injection in wordpress such as header footer and post injections this is a good plugin wp code is also a good plugin let's install one After plugin is installed, go to its settings. And here it is header and footer. Head, page section injection on every page. And this is the section for inserting code before the closing body tag or footer. Here you can paste the CDN links for header and footer. Now in case you change the theme, CDN links will be still there because these will be coming from this plugin. So this is how you can add CDN links for Bootstrap and Font Awesome in WordPress using plugin or without plugin. But this is not the only way. You can also find specific plugins for Font Awesome and Bootstrap. For example, from plugins, Search for Font Awesome. This plugin is from Font Awesome team. It can be used to add Font Awesome to WordPress website. Search for Twitter Bootstrap. Bootstrap Shortcodes Ultimate can be used to add Bootstrap to WordPress. It also provides helpful shortcodes to add Bootstrap elements into site. Okay, now what does CDN means in a URL? When you see CDN in a URL, it typically stands for Content Delivery Network. In the context of a URL, it often means that the file you are accessing is being delivered from a CDN, not the original server where the website is hosted. Using a CDN can help speed up the delivery of files, especially for users who are geographically distant from the original server. For example, if the original server is in the United States, but a user is in Australia. Delivering files from a server in Australia can be much faster than delivering them from the United States. So when you see CDN in a URL, it is a good indication that the website is optimized for fast delivery of static files like images, style sheets or scripts, regardless of where users are located in the world. Okay, this was all about using CDN links in WordPress. How about adding CDN support for whole website? Adding CDN support for WordPress website. From plugins, search for Cloudflare. Cloudflare plugin helps connect WordPress to CDN for free. It has performance benefits, but it also has security benefits as well. After you use Cloudflare with WordPress, your website assets will be served via CDN. Cloudflare will protect your website from attacks. It will also give you free SSL for lifetime. Doesn't matter which web host you choose to use. So use Cloudflare to serve your website content via CDN, to secure your website, and to get free SSL. You will need a free account from Cloudflare. Go to Cloudflare website and sign up for free account. Then activate this Cloudflare plugin and link your WordPress site to Cloudflare account and you are done. I have shown this whole process in a separate video where I showed how to get a free SSL for lifetime. I will link the video in description. Go check that out as well. So this is how you can add CDN links to WordPress website or serve your site via CDN for free. There are other CDN networks out there as well. I like Cloudflare because it has free option. Just use CDN.js if you need only few CDN links in your WordPress website. But if you want to serve your whole website via CDN, use Cloudflare. Okay, I hope it helped. Like, share, subscribe and I will see you in the next video.